Howdy folks, it's Maury Johnson again. Last time I introduced you to the harsh conditions in the Sonoran Desert of Tucson, Arizona, and I showed you my desert garden. So these are my desert plantings, but this is a tale of two gardens. The secret garden lies just behind this gate. The Oasis Garden is an homage to Monty Don's Jewel Garden, but done with desert adapted plants. Less than 18 months ago, it looked like this. I had the native Kalishi clay soil dug out and replaced with a planting mix. The Oasis Garden contains plants familiar to the UK viewers, Hall's Honeysuckle, Pyracantha, and everyone's favorite, Verbena bonariensis. There are other less familiar plants, such as Tacoma alata and the Mexican petunia, Ruelia bretoniana. A proper English border should always be edged by a well manicured lawn. Mine is made of sedum. You might say it's unconscionable to use the water required to sustain a garden like this but not if it is rainwater collected from the roof. All of my large pots are on wheels. This allows me to adjust the amount of sun they receive. For my delicate English rose, I can move it progressively into more and more shade as the heat builds. Vincas are the go-to bedding plant to fill in garden gaps. Check out the vast assortment at the local garden center. In the desert, you can overwater as easily as underwater. A moisture meter really helps. You might not be familiar with skyflower, Duranta erecta, the desert rose, Adenium obesum, the garden is overlooked by an ancient mesquite and a bottle brush tree, which flowers periodically. In mid-June, we had eight straight days over 110 degrees, 43 Celsius. This tomato plant had been thoroughly watered just four hours earlier. And I guess I'll have to find a different plant for the lawn. If the hose lies in the sun, Look at the temperature of the water. It's counterintuitive to water pots in mid-afternoon, but it's done to cool both the soil and the roots of each plant. The poor little ground squirrels are emaciated because the Palo Verde and mesquite trees made very few beans in this year's early heat. So they attacked Mickey Mouse, but I think they need him more than I do. After two months without rain, the midsummer monsoon came with a vengeance and with results.
My garden has kept body and soul together during the challenging past 18 months. It manages to bring me joy every single day.